Writing is a process. It starts even before you start writing. Is it the same process if you're writing a short story, an article for your website, or a college essay? How do you even get started? How do you make your ideas clear to the reader? Well, don't panic. If you think of a final product, it seems overwhelming. But all you need to do is take one small, simple step, and then the next step, and the next until you're done. So stick around and let's take a look at an overview of the writing process. This video is part of a series about the basics of the writing process. For the series to make sense, you should watch each video in order. See the video description for links to the whole series and for supplemental materials. Hi, welcome to Snap Language Learner. My name is Mark Franco. In this overview of the writing process, we'll look at the major stages in the process as a whole. We'll also look at some of the steps within each stage. The other videos in the series will go into each step in more detail. At the end of this video, I'll explain how you can complete the whole series. So, writing is a process. When you read someone else's writing with pages and pages of information, you see the finished product. But the writer didn't just sit and write the whole thing at once. No, they went through a process that probably took several days. Many effective writers are not even aware of their own process of writing. From their experience, they learn to go through certain stages, taking small steps as they write. They take the first step because it's the best way to start. Then they go to the next step because the next step makes sense. As a whole, the writing process has three main stages. Stage one is the pre-writing stage. This is where you come up with an idea for writing. If you already have an idea, great. If you don't, there are ways to generate ideas for writing. Part two of the series is about how to generate ideas. Once you have an idea for writing, you start organizing it. You start gathering some information. You think about what you may want to say. You get ready to write about your idea. To help you organize your thoughts, you write the main point you want to make in one sentence. That sentence is called the thesis statement. Part three of the series will show a technique you can use to create your thesis statement. Stage two is about actually writing. You want your ideas to be clear, so you organize them into paragraphs. Each paragraph walks the reader through your thinking. In the first paragraph, you introduce your big idea. Part four will show you how to write your introduction. You want to give the reader some background information so the reader knows what your writing is going to be about. You also introduce your thesis statement in the first paragraph. This way you prepare the reader to understand your main point, your central point. In the body paragraphs, you walk the reader through your thinking. Part five will show you how to write good body paragraphs. You make sure each paragraph has one main idea. Of course, this main idea supports your central point or your thesis. We'll also see how to write these topic sentences in the body paragraphs. Together, all your paragraphs lead the reader to your conclusion. Part six will be about how to write your conclusion. If you wrote a good introduction and each of your body paragraphs supported your thesis well, the reader will get to your conclusion by herself or himself. Stage three is about polishing your writing. Part seven in the series will show you how to make your writing better. Essentially, you go over your draft to improve your ideas and your writing. First, you revise your writing. When you do that, you focus on improving your ideas. 
You want to make sure what you wrote is logical and clear. You go over each paragraph to make sure you chose the right words, your sentences are saying what you meant to say, your logical thinking is clear. Once you're happy with your ideas, you edit your document. You go over everything again, but this time you're trying to improve grammar and writing issues. You check your spelling, verb tenses, prepositions, punctuation, and so on. You finished, right? Well, you want your writing to be really good, so you want your work to have a good title. You also need to make sure your formatting is right. Good writing is about communicating ideas well, but if your document doesn't look right, it can be distracting. The reader may not even want to read your work if it looks messy. Part 8 will be about these final touches. Whoa, that's a lot of work, Mark! Remember, writing is a process. Don't think of all these little steps. Don't think about all the time it takes. You just go through three stages. Just three. Any process takes time. Depending on what you need to write, it could take several days, even several weeks. But each small step in the writing process happens relatively quickly. It doesn't take very long to generate a good idea for writing and to think about what you want to write about it. If you keep thinking about all the other steps, you may be tempted to skip steps. But when you do that, you make more mistakes and it ends up taking even longer to finish your work because you have to keep correcting problems. So follow the whole writing process. Take one step at a time and soon enough you'll end up with some great writing. So this video is in the writing process playlist on the Snap Language Learner channel on YouTube. When I finish each video, I'll add a link to it in the descriptions below the videos. I recommend you should watch each video in order because each video builds on the videos before it. I'll also add a web page to the Snap Language website. You can bookmark that page and work through the whole series from there. Look in the descriptions below the video for the links. I hope you like all the videos. If you'd like to support Snap Language Learner, please like and share our videos. Please subscribe to Snap Language Learner and click the bell so you know when new videos are posted. This helps the channel grow so we can continue making videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.